Sometimes in Microsoft Word, you want to find a word or phrase or combination of characters in your document. Let me show you how to do that efficiently with the find command. The find command is located on the home tab, which I have selected on the upper left. It's all the way to the right in the editing section, and it's the word find with a magnifying glass. I'll click on it twice. When I do, two things happen. First of all, it opens a navigation window. Secondly, it shows me what my last find was, my last search criteria. And I can clear that out by clicking on the X and it will clear it. Let's say I want to work, look for the word Don, D-O-N. Now I found four results. The results here are highlighted in context and if I click on any of these contexts, it will take me to that word in my actual document. It found the D-O-N in the contraction don't. It found it in the word radon. It found it in the proper name Don with a capital D and another don't in my document. There is another, we'll get back to this in a moment, but there is another option that you must be aware of when you're looking. If I click the word you, and go looking, I have 515 U's. That's too many for me to have this little contextual boxes you just saw in the left panel. I can still use the up arrow and down arrow to move from one to the next. But again, if you know how it was kind of indiscriminatory, here is you in the word your, you alone, and you in the word layout. Oftentimes, our searches are too broad. What can you do to narrow them down? Well, let me show you. There, you have to use an advanced find option. To do that, I can click in the down arrow here, and I can go to advanced find. If my navigation window isn't open, all I need to do is go back up in the ribbon to find, and click the down arrow here, and click on advanced find it will take me to the same pop-up menu in either case. And when I do, I have a find and replace. It's asking me what I want to find and what direction I want to search. Now I'm going to click on the More button in order to narrow my finding. When I click on More, there are several options. I can search down or up or all. I'm going to click All. Another thing I can do is I can find whole words only. This is one I use a lot. So we'll click here, and now it says I'm only looking for whole words. So if I click on Find Next, behind me it has the word you. We'll keep moving. You, you, it, doesn't, it does not find any of the yours, Y-O-U-R. But notice it found a capital U as well as a lowercase u. Now if I only want to find, let's say, a capital U, and I'll change my search criteria with a capital, that will not change it because if I go find next, it's, it's, it's independent of whether it's capitalized or not. Unless I also click the match case box. Now it's match case whole words. I click find next, and here's capital Y-O-U. Click again. There's another capital Y-O-U. And it only finds the, uh, that word if it's capitalized. It doesn't have to be the first word in the sentence, but in this case it probably will be since it's not a proper name. I can do the same thing. Let's go back to, to the D-O-N, which we looked at before. And I'll click Find Next. Now it found the proper name Don. If I click find again, it didn't find anything else. So this is a nice way to narrow down your search in your document. The find command gives you a great way to locate text or a string of characters in your document in Microsoft Word. And when you use the advanced find command, it gives you even more precision in your search. If you found this lesson useful, we'd like to ask you to like us. Leave comments, especially about lessons we might create for you in the future. 
and subscribe to our YouTube channel here at the Sharper Turtle.